I know it's a little early, but who do you think's the leader right now of the Democratic Party heading into the midterm elections and then looking out to 2020? Who do you think's leading the party and who would you like to see as the, the There's leader? There's a lot of them. We got a lot of good qualified people. A lot of good qualified people. I, I saw Senator Manchin today from West Virginia and I told him any time he wants to run for president, I'm on his team. He you like him? A, I do like him. I do like him. He's got a great track record. Um, Alabama's just sent a good man to Washington. Doug Jones, he is outstanding. Been a lawyer. Been for little people he understands. And you know, this is what I look at. When you send somebody to Washington, you look at how good they live. Um, do they understand how Lily Ledbetter lives down in Alabama making car payments and the house needs a roof and the car needs tires and the kids need an education uh, and the mortgage needs to be paid? Do they understand that? No. How can they help people like us? They say they will. They don't. They don't have a clue what it's like. They do not. That's why I like Barack Obama so much. He and his wife both grew up in apartments. And I knew that they understood what it's like. His grandmother was bypassed over many, many times in that night for promotions simply because she was a woman. But later she finally got promoted and finally got her due. But he understood. He knew it. He heard it. He lived it in his house. And that's what I get around the country. Men understand what I talk about because they talk about their mothers. They talk about their daughters and their wives and their neighbors and everybody that's involved and the men understand it. that's what i like about what i talk about today and what i'm talking about today too it's not democrat it's not republican it belongs to the usa it's an american right for have a good education and opportunity in this country that's all we want just an opportunity i mean, we're not caring about making anybody better than anybody we just want to be the best we can be and it's interesting that you mentioned Manchin because not a lot of people are talking about him as, as possible like him. for 2020. I like, I like him. You know, he came here from West Virginia, and when he left West Virginia as the governor, he left uh, one of two. He was one of two states that was in the black in this country. And he's pretty moderate on like economic issues, so he Absolutely. might do well in a, in a general election. Yes, he would. Yes, yeah. he would. Yes, he would, and he's young too, so that would. And uh, he's real dynamic. I just think he'd make a great candidate. And I always say, him. I told him years ago in West Virginia on the trip, I said, when you run for uh, president, I'm on your team. I told Joe Biden that, too. He said, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> but I'm on his team, too. I don't know. It'd be a hard decision.